today I am going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look right here. I have absolutely no idea what I'm calling this. I came up with this look a couple of weeks ago when I was playing around with some new shadows that are going to be launching soon and I just got so inspired by this lid color and I've seen a ton of requests recently for a colorful makeup look because I definitely haven't done one in a while. So I wanted to throw together a colorful look for you guys while still trying to keep it kind of fall appropriate even though we're working with like this greenish blue and purples. I wanted to make it feel like fall time. So that's what I was kind of going for with this look right here. And I know that I have been going through a really intense smoky phase recently. Like I have been into like strong cat eyes and smoky eyes and dark vampy lips. I know very over the top dramatic makeup. Um, so today with this colorful look, even though I did something really colorful and bold, I wanted to incorporate a white eyeliner on my lower lash line and then keep it really bright in the inner corner to kind of brighten it up, even though it's smoky and then pair a nude lip with it. It's just a phase I'm going through right now of smoky eyes. But don't worry, I will be incorporating more daytime fall looks on my channel very soon. I just had to get these dark, intense, vampy looks out of my system. Before jumping into the video, I just want to really quickly say thank you to my subscribers. I know this might sound totally random, but I've just noticed the past couple of weeks, I have been receiving just so much love and positivity from you guys. And I just don't want you to ever think that I'm not noticing or I'm taking it for granted or overlooking it. And I just want to say thank you to you. I feel like every single time I log on to Twitter, every single time I log on to Instagram, all I see is just positivity. And... I just want to say thank you because I personally feel like right now is the happiest I've ever been in my life. This past month or two, I feel like I finally got into a place where I'm like fully coming into who I am as a woman and as a person. And I've just never been this happy. And there's just been so much, there's such a roller coaster. You know, life is such a roller coaster for everyone. And I just feel like finally things have kind of settled down and my anxiety has kind of gotten itself together and things have just gotten itself together. And I just want to say thank you to you guys. I know it's so random, but your positivity and your encouragement and your love truly is such a big thing and such a big part of me. And I just want to say thank you for that because you guys encourage me to be the best person I can be and to be a better person every single day. So I thank God for you. And I just, I hope that I can bring some sort of positivity to your life because you guys sure are doing it to me. So thank you so much. I'm sorry if I'm a big ball of cheese, you know, I love my mozzarella. So that's it. I love you guys so much. And I hope you enjoy this look and I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye guys. So my eyes are already primed, and the first thing I'm going to do is go in with this eyeshadow by Makeup Geek in the shade Desert Sands. It's one of my favorite shadows at the moment, and using a Sigma E40 brush, I'm going to begin putting this in my crease using it as my transition shade. I'm going to make sure I bring this all the way into the inner corner, the inner tear duct of my eye, all the way to the outer corner, and really buff upward in small circular motions. That way, when we go in with the darker shades, this will kind of surround and halo all the darker shades to really make it look blended out. Now we're going to go in with Poppy. Again, this is by Makeup Geek. These are all Makeup Geek shadows today, which was totally by accident, but they are my favorite. So using Poppy, I'm going to keep this one a little bit more just on the outer corner of the eye. I'm not going to bring this one in as far as I did with Desert Sands. I am bringing it in, as you see, but not as intensely to the inner corner of the eye as I did with the first Desert Sands shade. So I'm putting that on the outer corner and then working up towards the tail of the brow just to give this a little bit more warmth and a little bit more pop. And then I will go over a million times to make sure it's blended out. Now I'm going to go in with these two new matte shades, and these are in the shade Curfew and Motown. They are both dark matte purples, and I couldn't decide which one I wanted to use, so I just mixed them together because they're both so pretty. So using a Morphe M433 brush, which is a great blending brush, I'm going to apply this in the outer corner of my eye, and I'm going to make kind of a circular motion as you can see. I initially put the dark purple in the very outer corner, and then I start to kind of swoop it up and around to create the shape that I want for my eye. If you want more of a cat eye, you can create that shape now. I wanted this to be a little bit more rounded out for that smokier effect, but you can create whatever shape you want. So once you initially have that purple put in that outer crease of the eye, then you can begin to blend it out. Whenever it's time to blend, I always try to make sure that there's not tons of product on my brush because you will blend a lot easier. So as you can see, I'm going back in with the Sigma E40, nothing on it, and just kind of going over everything to make sure that we don't have any harsh lines. Now I'm going to go in with this beautiful duochrome eyeshadow in the shade Secret Garden, and I'm going to give a little bit of Fix Plus spritz on my brush. This is going to dampen the brush. It has glycerin in this product, so it's going to make it stick on. It's going to make it look a little bit more foiled and intense. And look at how beautiful this shadow is with just one application. It is so gorgeous, and because it's a duochrome, it reflects so many different colors it has like a little bit purple in it it has some teal it has a little bit emerald it's so many different shades in this one color it's just beautiful it's my favorite duochrome shadow 
hands down. I think it's so gorgeous. There's so many different ways to wear this. So that's what inspired this look overall was just this color right here. And by the way, this shadow is called Secret Garden in case I didn't mention that. So I'm using a MAC 242 brush and I'm just going to put this all over the entire lid. I only dampen my brush once, by the way, just two squirts and that's it. I do not continue to re-dampen. Those two squirts are more than enough for the entire lid. Now I'm going to go in with a Makeup Geek foiled shadow. I wasn't really planning on doing this, but I decided to. So this is a really intense purple shade. It's called Caitlin Rose, and I am going to be using a pencil brush by Morphe. This is the E16. And then once I have applied that just in the outer crease, kind of where Desert Sands and Poppy and those purples meet up with Secret Garden, that's where I'm going to place that intense purple. And then I'm going to be blending it out with an E22 again by Morphe. I just wanted a little bit more pop. I felt like the outer corner wasn't giving me like enough life, and I needed to add a little bit more so that's what I did now we're gonna go in with Rapunzel this is another new matte shade but honestly I would not consider this a full matte it's not like matte as can be it's a beautiful brow highlight because it has a little bit of glisten to it it's just gorgeous this would be a great all over lid shade if you're someone who doesn't want a frosty color but doesn't want something that's fully matte it is really beautiful I would consider this a big time staple in anyone's makeup collection now we're going to go in with lashes, and I am using Violet Voss lashes in the style Black Magic. I've never tried Violet Voss, mash bleh, Violet Voss lashes before. These were sent to me, so I thought that I had to give them a try. They're so beautiful, and I really, really love this style. Now I'm priming the skin using Becca's Backlight Priming Filter. I raved about this in my favorites video. It has a beautiful luminosity to it, which is why I love it. If you're dry and looking for a luminous glow, I highly recommend this primer. It is just so beautiful. And then I'm going to be going in with an oldie but a goodie for me, and this is the Cogendo aqua foundation and i'm going to be applying this today with a brush by tarte this is my first time using this brush and i love it it's just like so big and fat and it was just sitting there on my desk and i was like hey let's try this and it worked great it applied everything so quickly because it's so fat and i love the way it buffed everything out so yeah that is what i'm using to applies applies man i'm sorry i'm a little under the weather and i can't speak properly today apply my foundation now I'm going to be using under eye concealer and I'm using the Urban Decay Weightless Full Coverage Concealer. This is never going to change, I swear. This is my favorite concealer of all time. It is so difficult for me to try anything new because this is like my ride or die. I've never used a, found a concealer that I've loved this much in my entire life. I'm so dedicated to it. So I'm blending that out with the Real Techniques sponge. And then as always, I will set the under eye and I am using the Kat Von D Shade Light Palette to set my under eye area today because these are some of my favorite shadows. I'm sorry, favorite favorite powders ever for the under eye area. They're so smooth and creamy and they have a lot of coverage. So I usually use the yellow one, which is a little bit of the peach mixed in. I just think that they're such a beautiful formula. Now I'm going to be filling in my brows as always using Anastasia Brow Wiz, but today I am using a different shade than normal. I normally use taupe, but now I'm going to be using chocolate. I feel like since my hair is darker, I needed a little bit of a warmer color, but the shade is a lot darker, so I had to try to be as light-handed as possible. So my brows match my hair a little bit, but I never want to match them perfectly because that's just not my style. And red brows don't look cute on me. I promise you. I'm going to be contouring now using... Hula Bronzer by Benefit, another oldie but a goodie. And I am using the NARS Eda Brush. Oh, this is giving me old school vibes for my contour video, the Eda Brush and the Hula Bronzer. Good times. So I'm just going to be sculpting my face using the Eda Brush, starting towards the top of the ear, bringing it down towards the corner of the mouth, but not all the way to the corner of the mouth. Then I am taking an E4 brush by Morphe, which is just a great rounded brush to really blend things out. And I'm going to put some of that right around the hairline, but not too strongly because you can easily get too strong and then look like you have like this stripe of bronzer on your forehead. And then for blush, I'm going to go in with NARS Gilda. And I am going to be using an E3 from Morphe from the Elite Collection to apply this blush. It's just like a nice peachy blush. It's really pretty. It's one of my favorite from NARS. And then I'm going to be going in again with this dark, dark purple. This is Motown. And I'm going to be applying that to low my lower lash line using a flat definer brush. I don't know if this specific one I'm using is from Sigma or Morphe because they both have like the exact same brush. But I'm just going to apply that on just the outer third of the eye. And then I'm going to blend it out with Desert Sands again by Makeup Geek. Any pencil brush will do. I believe this one is from Sedona Lace. And then I'm just going to go back and forth and blend that out and kind of buff it down a little bit so we don't have any harsh lines. But again, I'm only focusing this on the outer corner of the lash line. And I'm going to go in with that other purple. And this is um, Curfew. 
and I'm going to bring a little bit of that purple in as well because I felt like it wasn't giving me enough depth underneath the eye, so I wanted to bring a little bit more of a lighter purple in. Now I'm going to take MAC Pro Emphasize Highlighting Powder, and I usually use this underneath my eye area, but since I use the Kat Von D palette today, I'm going to be using this on the inner corner of the lower lash line because I really wanted to make the inner corner nice and bright. I'm using the E36 from Morphe to do this, which is one of my favorite brushes. I think it's like the most underrated brush, but I love it because it's so tiny and so precise. Then I'm going to coat my lower lash line with a little bit of a pale liner. And this is the NW20 Chromo Graphic Pencil, I believe, from MAC. And then I'm going to just go over it with a little bit more of that Emphasize to really make sure that it's really nice and bright in that inner corner to brighten up this eye look. And now I'm going to use a Rimmel Lash Accelerator. And I'm going to just coat my lower lashes with a coat of mascara. You guys know how to do this. Been there, done that. And then I'm going to use Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Luminous Light. And I'm going to drag this all along my cheekbones. I really wanted to get like that glow from within going today. But you know what? It wouldn't be a tutorial of mine unless I use a little bit of champagne pop. Listen, guys, I know it's redundant, but this is my baby, and I'm going to use it while I can because it's not going to be around forever. So I'm just going to pop it just on the very high points of the cheekbones only, and then the rest of the cheeks, I will let the luminous light do the talking. Now for the lips, I'm just going to use the Marc Jacobs Gloss in Sugar Rimmed, which is one of my favorite nude glosses ever. It's just so glossy, so pretty, such a gorgeous nude. I just love it. So I'm just going to coat my lips with that. And then I am going to use some Anastasia Clear Brow Gel to make sure that my brows don't take flight because my brow hairs have a mind of their own, I swear to you. And then last but not least, I'm going to set my entire face with Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. And then we're done. I hope you guys enjoy this look. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.